Okay, so here we are in VCV Rack 2. Um, this patch is actually not all of it. I just had to delete some of it because it was maxing out my CPU when I'm using OBS to record this. So this is like half of it and I'm just going to bring the volume up and we can have a listen to this layer. So, yeah, I mean, there's quite a lot going on there and this was just like one layer out of four layers which make up a full track. And I'm not like purposefully being overly complicated here. Um, I, I wanted to follow this concept uh, to its conclusion and it being chaotic and it being busy stopping and starting and, and jittery and, you know, unpredictable was my goal. Um, so I'll just turn this down again a little bit. Um, and so the way I've done this, I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole patch, but the, the sort of general methods that I've used here is to, uh, and maybe not as much with this patch as compared to some of the others we'll look at, but I, I wanted to explore randomness and timing uh, like polymeter and polyrhythm um, and just to have things be unpredictable within a certain within certain confines of predictability so it's it's not that it never repeat it's not that it is always different but it is um, it evolves and it changes in random ways um, and sometimes it I guess the idea is with having the four layers as well is to uh, by fading them in and out you can have a musically uh, cohesive hard right turn or left turn or a, a stop or a, you know which is exactly the kind of stuff conceptually that I wanted to explore because you know when somebody has dementia um, <clears throat> they can have moments of like lucidity and stuff you can have a great conversation with them or, or maybe a slightly limited conversation but you can talk to them but then like within moments they'll just be lost you know um, and and that's really visible just observing them you know seeing look the confusion on their face and stuff like that so I wanted to have that but I also wanted to capture the beauty of um, of it as well, which I know sounds a bit odd, but um, there is there is beauty in it. I think uh, there are moments of beauty, and I feel like uh, <laughs> I don't know when, when you not that I've been diagnosed with dementia myself, but when somebody's diagnosed with dementia, it definitely makes them reevaluate a lot of things in their life, shall we just say? And so um, I feel like. Uh, I feel like that there's opportunity to explore beauty within some within this field of, of uh, discussing something that is a disease that is ultimately completely horrible. Um, so this is just this patch. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, um, I've loaded up another patch here. This one's absolutely huge, as I'm sure you can see. Uh, I realize a lot of people probably don't uh, use VCV or don't understand modular synthesis and this all just looks like gibberish to them uh, and that's fine because like it is kind of a garbled mess. Um, it may like looking at it now I would still I would have to pass through this to figure out what I've done because I did it weeks and weeks ago um, and I I mean, I know what I did. I know how I did it, but there's, yeah, there's a lot to unpack here. So I'm not really going to bother doing that. Once again, um, I've gone for something that is generative, that always evolves, that the timing on it is a bit odd. Uh, the scale that uh, I'm using for this one is uh, a Japanese scale called Hirajoshi, um, which, you know, uh, makes up, which is one of the four scales that I've uh, selected um so let's just have a quick listen to this apologies for the the clicks and pops my cpu is just struggling to do this 
and do OBS at the same time. When we get into Ableton, we can listen to some of these uh, artifact-free, uh, which will be good. But let's have a listen right now anyway. Hope you get the gist. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's let's just look at one more. Uh, I think it's like CQ. <laughs> um, but this one is actually much better for the CQ, so hopefully we won't get so much glitching. And like I said, I'm going to I just going to actually like, listen to the recordings I've made of, of these um, patches. It won't sound like this um but anyway uh this one is also using the hirajoshi scale uh and yeah one of four layers uh so let's bring up the volume here. Same, same old, same old. It's like it's generative. It's uh, strange. It's beautiful. Um, it doesn't adhere to standard musical timing conventions, and yet it still feels like. Um, yeah. So let's listen to these. Some of these in context. Sessions where we can actually hear how these layers interact with one another, which I think is really where it gets kind of special. <laughs> 